Hello and welcome to March's um, kit in a box. So this month's kit is using the Taco Fiesta stamp set. Um, I can't lie, I never intended to, to use this one. My daughter very much wanted it from the mini catalogue and asked for it for Christmas. Um, and I had a real blast playing with it. So I'm hoping that everybody else will too. Forgive me, your kits have gone out slightly later than planned. Um, stamping up sold out of envelopes. Um, and I was unable to find what I felt was a decent quality um, replacement. So I held out to order stamping ups as soon as they came back. But we have them now and they should all be in your possession or winging their way to you for those that have been posted. Um, so here we are. So stamp set. If you haven't got it, you're able to use something else. Although they're not going to look anything like what we've got here. Oh, and I've just realised I've damaged that one. Never mind. So let's get started. I'm going to start us easy, ease us in, and we'll go from there. This kit is not for the faint-hearted, so if you don't like fussy cutting, I apologise profusely. Um, but you have chosen this card class. So, we're going to start with the DL card, I think. So, we're going to need a piece of the basic white from your kit. Um, and we'll start by... Oh, she says it's been a while since I've filmed up here. I normally do downstairs now. So, if you put it in landscape in your trimmer and cut it to 20 centimetres. Okay. And then turn and make the other way 20 centimetres as well. I think I've used this later on for a sentiment, but if you if you don't use it, that's fine. Um, and then, sorry, I forgot how restrictive the space is up here. So then pop it back in. doesn't matter which way, because you've now got a 20 centimetre square. Line it up at 10 and 4, and that will be your card base. Okay, and then you'll see that this piece left, is about nine and a half so I well it's just a bit bigger so I make it nine and a half and trim off that smidgy bit just because it makes me feel a little bit better about life um and then we can cut that to 19 and a half again just so it's a little bit smaller did I do that at nine and a half I'm sure I did yes you set that to a side for a minute you should also have in your kits a piece of black card which should be oh i've done it at 10 for some reason hopefully i've measured all of yours okay she says i know why because so that's at nine. Yes, so this should be nine and a half. Sorry, hopefully your kits are okay. But please double check just in case I had a moment of madness whilst I was doing them all. So what you'll notice is that actually these bits here are missing. They are all in your kits um, with the letters. So hopefully you can use the happy on something else. And you should also have one of these strips, um, which might just be a coincidence that it's at 20 centimetres. We shall see, shall we? Okay, so let's put this bit together. So burnish your card. And then we're going to want to glue this on here. You're going to want, so you probably saw at the start, I'd managed to flap this bit about. So make sure you get some glue on that tab. 
because it will stop it flying around on your card. And as I said, I was starting this fairly simple. Um, just because on a Friday night we don't really need to be. Well, it's Friday for me. It might not be for you. Um, my rock and roll lifestyle. So it may well be that there's a bit of overhang on one end. And that's okay because we can trim that off. By just turning it over. But I tend to do it all in one lot so it's all together. Um, now this is where I wish I'd have bought up my tweezers sorry i've just realized i'm off of the screen a bit um so i, I tend to put the glue on there because i find it easier and i don't get my fingers quite she says quite some messy she sticks the glue right in the middle of it there we go there's one A little bit for the eye, and that one will go in there. Oh, not wafty, it won't open it. There we go. So, that will then go with more wet glue onto the front of the card. Try not to glue right up to the edge purely because if we do need to trim like I think I may with mine, you don't want sticky snips. And it's just about trying to make sure that your border is nice the whole way around and then you'll see it's finite. But I like it all to be. needs to be there we go so it just makes it look crisp so then we've also got when I find where I've put it in a layer so we can put that in And then the blue strip will just tie in from the front and then we'll get to the decorating part of the front. I just realised I've not got any of my blends out. Which is really helpful, isn't it? Considering it's going to be a class with lots of colouring in. So you'll also have a, um, oh, wet glue and then moved them on the insides of my peas that were sorted. So your die cut, scalloped circle die. Um, and we're going to need, where did some more of that white go? I think I've got a sheet in for stamping. So we are going to need a little armour, sombrero, and then the party favours are in a different colour. Mm. And what I didn't check was that my little lady, whether she'd cleaned her stamps properly or not. I thought I'd talked her better than that. So let's hope that that works. I'm not going to lie to you some of these i've got a blue peter style um so that you don't have to sit and watch me do lots of fussy cutting today so i'm stamping these with memento black and that's the best ink for using with your blends um i tend to when it's something like this i'll put them all on a big block because it just makes life a little bit easier um so we need some blends let's have a look so let's see what we've got here oh, 
come my bag of tricks. Luckily, this one doesn't have an abundance of colouring. So I want to say, what would we have used here? Crumb cake is almost certain to have been used somewhere. Let's have a colour lifter just in case. Could we have used soft suede? Quite possibly. Let's have a bit of everything out, shall we? Why not? Maybe that. That's a light soft suede, so that's quite possible. Um, do, do, do. All right, let's see. We'll have some red and some blue, so let's go with Sweet Sorbet, Tahitian Tide. Sorry, you'll be, you would have gathered, I kind of scooped everything up and bought it upstairs. Um, petal Pink, I think, may have been used. If not, it's about to make a comeback. Oh, I do like parakeet party. I'll have them out in the hope that I've used them somewhere. And I think I've probably used Highland Heather. Let's have a bit of everything, shall we? Because at some point it means that I get the ones that I want out. What's that? That's a 300. I think that's probably too dark. Okay. Found the box I think it was probably in yellow. That'll do. We're gonna have so many out, it's gonna get a little bit crazy, I think. So I've got a feeling that our sombrero. I've either used that or where's the flirty flamingo made instead of made a appearance somewhere she says i think i probably would have just gone for loud and airy in honesty um this tends to be my go-to for things we'll have a play and see what we come up with shall we let's see how dark that is oh no i think that quite possibly is his nuz and if it wasn't, it is now. Um, so bear in mind, if you don't have the blends, it's perfectly fine. I'm sure you've got some pencils or something that can be used in replacement. It's a lot darker, I think, than I had originally done. But never mind. It's just to give him some colour. So let's have some pool party beads. Why not? I definitely think I would have done Tahitian Tide. Oh, she says. And sweet sorbet on the sombrero. Very much think that would have been on there. Should probably check I'm still on the screen, shouldn't I? It's a bit silly of me. Um, so, I play the light dark light game just to try and get some shading in there. So there's no right or wrong when it comes to colouring. It's just personal preference. And you'll find nobody does anything the same, ultimately. So it's just playing have fun with it. Um, many an afternoon have been lost sitting and colouring in this house. So I promise you I won't sit and colour everything for you. Um just that you can kind of get a feel of where we're going with everything. Let's have, let's go, oh, not with the brush end. I get a bit scared of the brush ends, I'm not gonna lie. 
A little bit of flirty flamingo on there. Even know if I attempted to shade on the first one by the look of it. Never mind. Well, we've made an attempt now. Hey? Um, let's have what have we got here? Let's find Heather. We will need a light one. No, I think I probably used Blackberry Bliss when I originally did it. Never mind. Just as well, stamping up are very good to us, and everything coordinates regardless. And then we will yellow. What's this one? So saffron. Oh, and so saffron. So I've got the two there, so we'll go with that because I think I probably used daffodil, but never mind. We are working with what I'm finding. I'll make sure I've got them ready for the next video. Um, so we need, that's dark, I don't want dark. Uh, I'll have the light one on there. I didn't use that, did I clearly? And then we'll just put a few bits through the tail. Okay. So that's that part done. Let's get these out right. It's going to make a bit of a noise, so I'd apologise now. But otherwise, we won't have much room to do anything else. So, I'm not going to lie, I have a blue Peter, one of these, because I had one already. might use that one later for something else because I don't know if I need another one. So let's trim our sombrero. So normally I'd leave quite a nice white border but because this is going on his head I won't do so much. I might be needing a new pair of snips. I think somebody in my house has decided to borrow these for something. So they're feeling fairly sticky. Which is always good, isn't it? Okay. So you'll see here as well, there's this pattern behind. So I've used pool party and this kind of sweetie um streamer on there and that's literally a case of sorry i wanted to double check because it's stained i didn't know if lit had not cleaned it or just left it as it was but i think it's a case bless her that it's just stained So make sure you turn your stamp around so you get a different um, look of it each time. Most of it will be covered up, so I know I'm being particular for no reason, but that's the aim of the game, isn't it? There we go, that'll do us. So, bringing back, she says, the card, I have propped this up on dimensionals. Whoops, a daisy. 
and then because it just had happy on here you'll see that I have fussy cut birthday but I fussy cut that from a different stamp set so our little llama is also on pads um, and I have fussy cut that from I'm going to get the name wrong because I keep um, mixing it up with a different one so give me two seconds and I will tell you exactly which one I've got it from because I don't want to get it wrong um, so on here I just put glue on his ears because it was the one bit that I knew the sombrero was going to cover and then balance that nicely on his little head um, so oh there you go framed florets I was going to get it wrong I was going to call irresistible blooms but that's the other one um so going to stamp that she says when she finds where she has put her paper here we go and we will don't need to ink it all because I'm going to fussy cut it there we go so I did say that this class is not for the faint hearted when it comes to fussy cutting. Um, I think I've, it's every card has got some form. Um, because as much as this is a fab and fun stamp set, it doesn't have a set of dies, unfortunately, which actually is the only thing it's missing. Um, because I think it covers most other occasion well it does cover most occasions it just needs a die set so that it makes life a little bit easier and then I think it may have had a lot more takers um, because I think it's quite easy to not um, if you don't like fussy cutting it puts people off of a stamp set unfortunately well unless it's a really easy but some of the designs are quite intricate with oh didn't quite leave the border I would have liked there but never mind I'm not doing too well on the old multitasking today and in fact my whole day's gone like that actually so demonstrators get to find out next week um, what's going in the new catalogue and the annual catalogue and what carries over and things so if you've shopped with me in the last six months you'll automatically get um, a paper copy of the catalogue sent to you if you haven't and you don't have a demonstrator um, of your own in your local to me, well you're in the UK um, I'll happily send you one just please drop me a message um, either on here on YouTube or Instagram on let's underscore create or you'll find me at Claire Thornton Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator on Facebook. Oh, nearly had to re stamp that then. We were going to lose our tea. <laughs> I'm not in the conventional type. Oh, I'm sure I've probably f tried to do far more fussy cutting with than that and then I did the first time round. Yeah, silly person. Never mind. I'm 
and I'll probably start it around here rather than finishing because that's a really fiddly finish. I actually made all of these cards separately. These were never going to be a card kit, but I've had so much fun playing with it. Um, so I just needed to share the love for it. There we go. Just buy it there on my chinny chin chin. So it's a very small sentiment. So I've also bought my minis up. Um, and then even then, I think they're going to need some trimming. I might get one in there. Or did I? Yes, it is propped up. Okay. I really, really trimmed that too much, I think. If all else fails, snip the edging on your dimensionals and you can make smaller versions. Works a treat. Until you lose the back in a bit, Claire. Aye, aye, aye. Sometimes I do wonder about myself. Right, there we go. And then you'll find in your kits you've got a few different sets of embellishments purely because I was using all different when making these cards because at that point in time I hadn't planned on making a kit. Um, there was only one that was unavailable when it came to um, ordering. So I've used, oh, I can't remember the name of them and I've not bought up my packet of them, but they're iridescent gems, I think. There you go, that will finish that off nicely. And that's card one, it's the original, and my one, done. Thanks very much, I'll see you for card two.